So we're going to use these as example two. Um, so we're solving two problems here. But I'll just do them each as their own separate videos. Let's solve this inequality. So we want to get x by itself. with bothering it as a negative a half. So we're going to add a half. So add a half over here. So remember, when adding fractions, we need a common denominator. So the common denominator here, I could have turned this into 3, 6, and I could have turned this into 4, 6, a negative 4, 6. Okay? So what we're really doing, I'll rewrite the problem with my common denominators. And I think you'll find that it becomes a little bit easier to see. So 3, 6 plus 3, 6. And then we'll get x by itself. Inequality stays the same. Um, negative 4 plus 3, the negative's going to win. So we're going to do 4 minus 3. And that equals 1. Take the larger number with absolute value. So the 4 is bigger than the 3. Subtract those out, you get 1. But you know the negative wins, so it's negative 1. And then it does ask you to graph. So we're going to take our number line. We'll put a 0. We'll put negative 1. Open dot. This says x is less than um, the negative 1. So we are going to shade everything over here. How many answers did we just find? You should be thinking this is infinite. This would go on forever. 